it's me, Sung Won, and I'm doing a Q&A. This time I'm joined by Anne Marie. Hello. Uh, my wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. Shout out to <laughs> our favorite movie, actually. <laughs> actually, I get that from Comedy Bang Bang, but all right. Oh, I thought Comedy Bang Bang does it because of Borat. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought it was from Borat. Yeah. I was okay. really confused. My wife. <laughs> We're gonna answer some questions. I asked people on Twitter and Tumblr. And here we go. So these first two will be, uh, they were questions for my podcast, but they were geared toward us specifically, so I'll just answer them real quick. Can you talk about how you and your wife met? We met, we've talked about this on like other videos and channels, but we met through <laughs> Mario fan fiction when yeah. we were younger. Uh, there was a Mario fan fiction community. Um, we had mutual friends. So Mario brought us together. Yep. That, we were... Just how I always imagined it. Yep. Like, I I was into Mario fan fiction at, starting at, like, Although age 12. We, we weren't even on the same websites, though. Right. We, like, just had, like, a, a the, the same online group of friends who were on both. And we kind of met that way. And so, thank you, Mario. For, Thanks, Mario. That was... We've known each other for a long time. Like, how long have I known you at this point? At least, like, 10 years. Yeah, like, 10 years now. So, talk about your thoughts on Pokemon Sun and Moon and the story. Oh shit, it's been a while. It's been a long while. That question was obviously asked when that game came out, but uh, I really liked Sun and Moon a lot. Um, I thought the story was bad, but I thought everything else <laughs> was very good. I thought the atmosphere and the characters and the new Pokemon designs were awesome. <clears throat> uh, I think honestly one of the best Pokemon games they've made uh, so far. Like, it's really memorable. Wait, I why was this one geared towards just us? Because Alex hadn't played it. Alex hadn't played it. Oh, he okay. I was like, yeah, it's an that, odd couple questions. Because our friend Alex is on the podcast and he's a dumbass and didn't play Pokemon yeah, Sun and Moon. Yeah, that's why. He's a dumbass. <laughs> so that's that's why he hasn't played it. Um, My thoughts, I really liked Sun and Moon. I you, I played Moon, right? And you played Sun. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember because mm -hmm. it's been so long. Um, yeah. I really liked it. I didn't do the post game because I suck. Mm, post game is fun. So um, I started to and then I was just like... But um, I really liked it. I liked um, you know, all the new Pokemon. I really liked the atmosphere. It was just like very whimsical and fun. And I really liked X and Y. Mm -hmm. But X and Y feels more generic compared to Sun yeah. and Moon. So I think having that sort of very defined atmosphere, a very charming Hawaiian sort of vibe, I think really was a strong suit or a strong part of the game. Right. So I think more game the future game should be like that, very focused and very um, focused on a theme because I think that really made it stand out to me. Bulio Bulio. Did you like Team Skull? I did like Team Skull. Team Skull was the best part. Team Skull was great. Uh, I think the, and I, I won't spoil anything, I think the main villain was dumb, but I really liked Yeah, Team the Skull. rest of them were good though. Yeah. That's how I felt too. Like the, uh, I guess, final villain. First impressions of each other. What was the first date like for you guys? Uh, I thought you were cool. We, I think we met in a Skype for the first time. Cause oh, we yeah, had, because we had then, mutual friends. Yeah. Um, and you were just cool, you know, easy to talk to. I thought you were funny and um, easy to get along with. How about you? What were you thinking of me? Um, you had a really deep voice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow! Wow! What a deep voice! Wow! That's amazing! Wow. Um, I don't know, I thought you were just like a nice guy. I didn't really know you. Yeah. I, was, like, we, I, mean, I mean, it was the first time I met you, I was kind of like, oh, this guy's nice. But you didn't think like I was annoying or a dick? No. Okay. okay. You were just like a normal guy. I yeah, was like, oh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Just we were this just guy like... who's in this. You were like a guy that I didn't know in a Skype with people that I didn't know. But we got along pretty well. Remember, we talked about like. I told you about Carrie. Yeah, uh, my favorite the movie. horror movie Carrie. And... <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, if I had a really bad first impression of you, I would remember. Mm -hmm. What was the first date like for us? <laughs> we went to Ruby Tuesdays. We went to Ruby Tuesdays. We, we we ate there, we watched Advent Children. You remember that? Yes. Yeah, which show, oh boy, two top-notch experiences. Ruby Tuesdays and then Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. But it was really fun. Yeah. We had a, we had a good time, so. It was, it was nice. It was a good, solid first date. Very chill, I thought, I thought. If you could only drink one beverage aside from water for the rest of your lives, what would it be? Um, Tea. Well, that would fuck you up, though. That Because you got... Oh, yeah. You got that, what, the restless leg syndrome? I don't once? know. I, if I have too much caffeine, like, I get really shaky and yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, would, I would just... But I can get decaf tea. That's true. See, there's so many different kinds of teas. Is it better or worse? I mean, is it worse if it's decaf? I don't no, really drink tea. Not really. Okay, so why not it's drink... Just, it's just... Well, because I like... You like the caffeine. I like having a little bit of caffeine, oh. and also I like the teas that I get that have caffeine. But yeah, I'd go with tea. Um, I really like water, um, like, nice ice water, but... Assuming health concerns are not an issue, maybe Sprite. <laughs> like, I really like a good fountain drink Sprite. That's like always my go-to drink. It's fucking good and like really refreshing. Uh, so I'd say that. 
Do you guys like drawing or any sort of craft? Uh, sculpting, scrapbooking, painting, knitting, etc. Short answer for me, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm terrible at drawing. How about you? Yeah, I like drawing. I went to school for art. Yeah. Um, I like crafting. I'm not. I'm trying to learn like crochet and other things, and probably sewing at some point because I have all the materials. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I like drawing. She's good. She's a good artist. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't do any of that shit. I mean, I wish I. I when I was young, I used to draw, but uh, and I love to draw, but now I'm. I, I didn't like it enough to pursue it, basically. What does she think Bleach is about? We might have to do a video, video about that at some point, but what do you think Bleach is about? Um, I honestly have no idea what- Just, the... what do you think, anything. Are they ninjas? They're not ninjas. Is, I thought it was like Naruto, but like for adults. N no, they're not ninjas <laughs> I don't know what they do. I think you told me once, mm. oh, don't they fight demons? It's closer. It's like Death Note meets Naruto, right? No. Exactly. Absolutely not. I got it. <laughs> Don't need to watch it now. Death Note is, I guess, slightly closer. Are there Shinigami? They are, shin they are Shinigami. Um, so it's like Naruto, but with Shinigami. That's not a, the worst worst description I've Got heard, it. But it, they're not ninjas. Got it. We might have to do a video on that at some point. What's the best part of having cats? Everything? Yeah, everything. Obviously. Petting them and... <laughs> Playing with and them, looking at them, and they sit on your lap, and just knowing about them, and just being in their presence. Look how cute they are! And putting your face in their fur. Everything. Everything. How did you get Effie and Sophie? Well, she got Effie first. Effie was my cat mm -hmm. before we lived together. Yeah, you just adopted her from. Yeah, the, I just uh, like went to the shelter, shelter and got a cat. And then Sophie actually. Uh, uh, his our, parents like just found her. Yeah, our parents found and for her for some reason. Like took her home. I mean, they found her and like took her in because she was basically alone. Like, yeah. Didn't have, she was like, um, she's young. And then uh, we waited to see if there was an owner would come up. You know, we you know, put, yeah. put announcements. I went everywhere. to a lot of effort, but so it, no one claimed her. So I think she was just a stray kitten. She must have been because she also wasn't fixed or anything. Right. So oh. so she she clearly didn't belong to anybody. So we uh, thought about it and then we decided to adopt her. So now we have two cats, Effie and Sophie. Yeah. What are your most and least favorite Ace Attorney cases? My favorite would be probably... Mine's the last case of the third game. Mine's the last case of the second game. Really? Oh, that's pretty good. I do like the last case of the third game, Last though. case of the third game. They're both very good finales to their games. My least favorite is, like, everything else in two. That's fair. Two's not very the good. The circus case is very bad. We're excluding, like, the tutorial ones, right? It doesn't really count. Yeah, I mean, they're not even that bad. None right. of the tutorial cases are that bad. They're so short. Yeah. Um, I'd say the third case in the first game is actually very bad. Uh, it's worse. Which one is that? The Steel Samurai one. We replayed the game, me and Alex on Press Buttons Talk, we played it, and that third case is really bad. Way worse than I remembered, and fuck that case. So, either that case or the third case, or not the third, or is it the third Or the circus case, anyway, in the second game. Do you have a favorite clothing store, and if yes, which one? My you favorite wanna... clothing store is Goodwill. She likes Goodwill. I like Goodwill. Are there any like others like actual not actual but like other like brand stores you like? Because for me, I don't give a shit. I just order all my I order like nerdy shirts and stuff, and I wear like a lot of Michigan State shirts. So I don't really have like a go-to brand. No, store. for normie clothes, I pretty much just go to Goodwill or like Target. Goodwill always has good yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't... find my favorite stuff at Goodwill. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. All right. That's that's res I respect yeah. that. What's your favorite Pokemon? Charizard. Jigglypuff. You mentioned that you used to be in a uh, long distance relationship. I'm currently in a long distance relationship and it's hard, but it's comforting to know you got through it and are now happily married. Would you mind sharing your experience? Uh, sure. Uh, we did it for like six years almost. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, uh, five or six years, I think. Yeah, we knew we were friends first. Yeah, it was, then, like, it was like six years. Yeah, and then we dated for six years. Uh, it was long distance. Yeah. Uh, it was that. It, it's, so if you're in a long distance relationship, uh, uh, I totally know how you're feeling. It's really tough. It only gets harder as time <laughs> goes on. Yeah, it really does. It sucks. In the beginning, you're like, "This is fine. This we can do it." And you know, later no, on, it's, it it's really, not fine. <laughs> it really hurts uh, yeah. each time you leave after that. Port. Kind of romantic. It's romantic, but also very difficult yeah and obviously the goal for well I assume the goal for everyone in a long-distance relationship is to eventually be together mm -hmm. uh, I think you can do it I think it is possible yes um, I think when you're in a long-distance relationship it's very important to constantly communicate we talked every day yes uh, we skyped almost every single Skype day. pretty much almost every day keeping communication constant is very important even if it's just mundane talking about your day shit you know I think that's very important 
Um, and then, you know, seeing each other on a semi or regular basis is good. As much as, much as you can, obviously. Yeah, at first we didn't see each other that many times a year. Like, maybe twice a year. Mm, at no, first. I, maybe at first, It was yeah. not very much. But then yeah. later it was like every couple months. Right. Which was much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got to a point where we sort of sat down and we're like, okay, what's going to happen with this? And then we finally decided to, you know, live together. And, well, I moved here. And she moved here. Uh, and so... Because I got a job. Right. Because I already, I already was working right. there. And so um, eventually one of you will have to take the leap. Yeah. And that's a tough... It's it's definitely a tough you know thing to work out, but I wish you and any, anyone else luck in that if you're in that. And I know exactly how you're feeling, and uh, I think you can do. I think it is possible, and you can do it. So yeah. Gambate. And then when you do do it, it's so nice. Oh yeah. yeah, it fucking rules. It's so nice. You're like holy shit, this is awesome. I think when you when you are in a long distance relationship and then you become in the same area. You value that, I think, I think more, frankly, than other, nor other not normal, but other couples who are just kind of used Definitely to it. Definitely at first, anyway. Now we're just kind of like, <laughs> Well, now we're married. We just, like, don't care. <laughs> we're married and we've, you know, we're, we're pretty chill. But, you know, it's definitely something that was pretty special. Yeah. Um, oh, it's still special. And, you know, I, you know, I still, th I, I, I still, like, think back on that and, like, how good I have it now compared to, like, how... How much it hurt back then? Yeah, so. it sucked to like spend a lot of money to yeah, fly yeah, here. Yeah, that too. That yeah, fucking sucks. Fucking airplanes. Airplanes suck. Yeah, fuck airplanes. First video game you two played together? Oh, together? It was probably <clears throat> it was either Mario Party Two or Bioshock. Did Both... we play Bioshock together? Mm -hmm. You don't remember that? I went to your place, uh, and we played. The... Remember we did like the hacking? And... Oh yes, I do. Yep, we did that. But that wasn't like the first time we played it. But I mean together. Oh yeah, yeah. The first yeah. game we played together. Oh yeah, together. yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So that was those long distance times. <laughs> it was one of those two. Two those two two those two are like two of my favorite games anyway. Yeah. I remember we played Pirate Land in Mario Party two, and uh, we played Bioshock together because that's like one of our favorite games. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. I wonder well, why did we decide to just play it together? Just just to do we, it? Just because we liked it, I oh. think. I think maybe you were replaying it or something. Oh, I think that was it. I was, I was really bad at the hacking. Yeah, I was like, I'll do I, the like, hacking. I like forgot about the hacking. Yeah, the hacking is tedious. It was really good. What is your least favorite thing about the other person? And how do you guys settle arguments? Ooh, okay. Well, what's your least favorite thing about me? Um, I think you don't like to do things when you don't want to. What do you mean by that? Like if you need to go to the doctor or something, or like do something, like hey, can you like clean a dish? Okay, I clean the, <laughs> what are you talking about? That's just about? an example. I wash the dishes. You're like, oh, I'll do it later. You procrastinate, that's the word. Okay, that's- You procrastinate really bad. That's fair to say. You make it sound like I refuse to wash no, the no, dishes. No, no, you'll, no, you'll be like, I'll do it later, I'll do yeah, it later. Yeah, and I do do it later. But sometimes then you forget because you procrastinate too much. <laughs> okay. my, my least favorite thing about you, and I've, I've told you this and you know, uh, sometimes I think you have a bit of a temper. Uh, that's fine. Not even necessarily towards me, but kind of towards other people. Yeah, I don't like dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so, because we get along, you know, very well. Uh, I think sometimes you can, you know, you can be a little harsh, yes. and sometimes it's justified, and sometimes it's not. Um, um it is always justified. Oh, 100% every <laughs> yes. time. No, it's not. It but... is my road rage. Oh 100 yeah. 100% justified. So, and you know, we've talked about this. You know, these are, you know, procrastination, the temper. These are not things we've like kept secret from each other. You know, <laughs> I think when you've known each. <laughs> Well, what, what? That would be really bad. Well, yeah. When, when you've known someone for this long, and we've known each other for a long time, we've pretty much, there's really no Yeah, I hope if you're, like, getting married to someone, like, you've some talked people, about these. Some people you know, fuck yeah. it up. Some people, like, they don't know the other person. They're like, we love each other, we, but they don't know each other. I think it's important to know someone. Um, I think it's important to have arguments sometimes. Yes, absolutely. People who are like, we never, ever fought, ever. I'm, then I'm, I'm like, just, you guys are holding shit in I'm and, like, like, fucking... I'm skeptical. You, like, hate I'm each sure other. I'm sure there's some people who, like, really get along well, but, like, I'm very skeptical if you've, like, never had an argument with your partner. Yeah, it's... Then you're, like, an even, alien. Like, even, like, a totally, like... You don't have to have, like, a bad argument. Yeah. Like, even, like, one, like, thing, like... Right. That just, like, you bug each other and just gets on your nerves. Because the second part of the question was, uh, how do you... What, what is it? How do you guys settle arguments? So honestly, and I'm we, right. Yeah, that's, and you're no. Like, so how'd you know? 
Because I'm always right. When we argue, uh, and sometimes, you know, everyone, every couple argues. Um, um I just, like, cry a lot and then take a nap. You okay, you can answer for real. Okay, so... Usually, but I, do, I do get like emotional though. You do get that's emotional. That's like real. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you make me cry. I just like cry. She is more of an emotional person than I am. I'm pretty pragmatic. Okay, so how we actually settle arguments is like, we just like talk about it. Well, I mean, that's kind of, it sounds simple, but you know, kind of it. talking it out, getting, trying your best to convey why you're upset. If it's like something heated, we'll like kind of take a little while to calm down and then talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, take a chill pill. And like, yeah, we take a bunch of chill take pills. Take a bunch of chill and pills, we... and then we later discuss it. But I think it's important to, you know, be very open in communication and <clears throat> just be like, you know, this is why I'm upset, mm -hmm. and this is why, how I'm feeling. It doesn't mean I'm trying to invalidate how you're feeling. You know, this is just my reasoning for my how, why I'm upset. Right. And then going from there um, and not doing the blame game. You know, although, you know, both of us, I'm sure, have done the blame game before. No one's perfect. But I think... Um, I've definitely tried to be more um, level-headed when I'm trying to present why I'm upset about stuff. Also accepting that, you know, you, both of us will uh, react to something in a different right, way. Right, right. So. But yeah, really you just have to like talk it out. Yeah. And kind of try to understand the other person. Yeah. Do you like your wife slash husband? Eh. Hmm. She's aight. He's eight. Uh, does your wife also play Love Live? Who was her best girl? No. She did for like a little bit, it's but... It's trash. It, yeah, that, <laughs> that's fine. I'm um, fair. I like... Who's your best girl? I don't know. What do they look like? I'll show you a picture. I'll pick one, and then that can be my best girl. I'll show you a picture of the original Muse 9. Yeah, I don't want these new ones. I want like the OGs. The OGs, right? Sure, here's what they look like. My phone doesn't flip. What the f... Who... <laughs> Who the fuck doesn't have their phone for? I like... I like this one. Honoka? The no. main girl? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like no. this girl. This blonde, this weird blonde girl. With the green bow? Yeah. Kotori? Yeah. She's cute. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, they're, they're... So, her, so her official answer is Kotori. Um, how did Anne-Marie get introduced to gaming and what's your favorite game? And what is the game that you guys play more often? Not recorded. Uh, okay. How'd you get introduced to gaming? Oh, I just like grew up with it. Can you be like, I mean, you, what, what did you play? Like, what? I mean, when I was a kid, I just, you know, I just like grew up with video games. I had like, you know, Mario and mm. I had like uh, NES and Super Nintendo. Yeah. And Nintendo 64. I had three brothers growing mm. up. Mm. So, like, we always got like um, games or consoles for like holidays and like it'd be like all of our gift. Yeah. So, we would all just like always play together. So, I just always had video games, I guess, because my whole family liked them. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think we both had a pretty similar that's why we were both yeah. in Mario fan yeah, fiction. Nobody really like introduced me to them. I just kind of like my hope my family just had them, so I mm. played them growing up. My cousins kinda well, I'm kinda the same way. Like um I was basically basically had an NES. My cousins played it. I played, you know, Mario and Dr. Mario and Duck Hunt and I had some friends too growing up who like if I went to their houses mm. they also had like games that I didn't have. Like I didn't own Super Mario World. Oh yeah. But I had a friend who did and I went to her house and I was like Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, like when I saw the graphics for Super Super Mario World. Yeah, the first I was like, time, this was is the like, pinnacle this of graphics. This is the future, and <laughs> it'll is, never get better. It'll than never this. get better than this. Yeah, um, I didn't own a Super Nintendo until way later. But See, I owned, we owned one. But, but I, I had a Nintendo. I got a Nintendo sixty four for my Chris for my for my Christmas. For you. It's my Christmas. Uh, for my and Christmas then you were gift. like, this is the pinnacle. Yeah. This is the height. And then I got the GameCube. I was a Nintendo guy for Me, and yeah. still, you know, I that's my bird clock. But uh, I, I've been a Nintendo guy for a long time and i <laughs> That's my bird clock. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Well, it's fucking chirping and shit. They're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? It's a bird that lives It's my lives wild in bird that lives in my apartment. <laughs> Duh. Uh, what's but your favorite game? Shit. That's not, what's that for? Shit! <laughs> for PS2? Yeah, shit. Yeah. It's either Final Fantasy IX or Wind Waker. Yeah, those are the two I was those thinking Those are the two of. that I always like switch between. What would you, if, let's say you have to pick one right now. Which one do you like more? Go with your gut. Wind Waker. Okay, yeah. You usually say Wind Waker. Yeah. For me, it's Bio Oof, Bioshock or Paper Mario. Bioshock's up there. Bioshock's like third on my list. I'm gonna say Bioshock. Oh, Paper Mario. Paper is Mario is also mm. one of my favorites. Uh, it's always. We can talk about this forever. It's always between those two. What was the last one? What do you? What's the game you guys play most often? We don't usually play games together that often. I would probably like Mario Party, Mario Party 2, two. 2 or Smash Bros. Yeah. There's really, you know, as as time has gone on, there's less and less local multiplayer, you know? So it's kind of yeah. kind of a bummer. 
so one of those two. We used to play Animal Crossing together a lot. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that was like that, the that, perfect long distance game to that was, play with that your was partner. Re that was really fun. <laughs> is your wife also a voice actor? Absolutely not. She just gets super self conscious yeah, when no. you try to get her to do anything. I don't like it. Because people on the ch on uh, press buttons and talk channel will they be want like, me to do they'll be like, why won't you do the voices, the female voices? And she's just like, fuck no, no, thank you. So nope. it's too much pressure. Right. What's it like living with such a nerd? Can be directed at either of you. Oh, I want to just bring up. Everyone thinks that the Daki Makara is yours, mm. but it's actually mine. I have people. never claimed that the. I know, it's, that body but I want to make mine. the clarification that I brought that, Right. I brought Kamina to this marriage. It always sounds like I'm making shit up, but her <laughs> friend gave it to her. That's not mine. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Kamina side up, please. This is not mine. This is mine. This is not mine. <laughs> I'm not, this is hers. And now it's ours. I brought this, I brought Nia and Kamina to this marriage. Yeah. My friend got this for me because she thought the Kamina side was like really funny, which it kind of is. Yeah, it is funny. Because like, it's just like Kamina hey guys. being naked How's it going? and like stripping, like yeah. he's taking off his pants. Oh. So I've had this for a long time, actually. Yeah. You have had this for a long time. Yeah. I've, she gave it to me a long time ago. Yeah. And now we have it. Yeah. But this is mine. I brought it to this marriage. Yeah. So, what's so it like everyone with... who thinks that it's yours and that you're gross and weird, I'm gross and weird. What's it like living with such a nerd? Um, it's fine. I it's... hear Love Live a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like know all these Love Live songs because you play them all the time. We're both pretty nerd. I mean, I'm more of a nerd, I yes. guess. I mean, not we have like... a lot of video games. We have a lot of video games and board games. A lot of board games. Um, but she likes video games and she likes board games yeah. and you know she likes anime and stuff. Um, so for me, you know, it's nice because I can kind of just be who I am and she doesn't give a shit. You know, she's not like. Oh, ew, what is this? You know, she's like, she gets it. And I like to know, like, what you're watching. Yeah, and like, like, what you're, like, how it is. Right. Like, maybe and, like, I'll, watch I'll give, it. like, recommendations. I'm really lazy, so I don't, like, watch stuff ever. Oh, yeah. But, like, well, I really should, though. Like, but there's a lot of things that you will tell me about, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that re sounds really good. Yeah. Watch it. So, so I you mean, introduced me to stuff. I mean, that's kind of, that's how we basically became friends, was because we had very similar kind of interests. Right. Although, when we first met, I was, like, not that really into anime. Mm. I really was not into we kinda, it until, we kinda, like, I kinda, like, until college almost. I actually. brought you over to the dark. I don't zone. think it was like just you. I was definitely. But it was probably like a lot of you. I was definitely an influencing factor. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, I really I watched most of the anime that I've seen like in college. Mm, yeah. So you know, I missed out on that twelve-year-old. Right, Naruto phase. That Naruto yeah, phase, yeah, yeah, I yeah. missed out. Um, I watched Hamtaro. I had never watched Hamtaro. That's the best anime. I'm sure it's not. Does your wife have a favorite voice impersonation that you do? Do you? Is there um, a voice actor that you like? I think I actually think your Goofy is really funny when you do it. Your oh, Goofy yeah. and your Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> My Mickey's not that good. It's not that good, but like. Oh, that's just... rude. We don't think it's that good. I mean. I'm joking. Yeah. I mean, it's good, but you know, that's not the reason I like it. Isn't because it sounds just like Mickey. It's because like you just will be like say like the meanest things yeah. like in the Mickey point. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> we decided that. Uh, the other... <laughs> we decided that the reason Goofy is called Goofy because Mickey is just... because Mickey's like ha. Huh, you fucking goof! You fucking goofy ass fuck! Your name's Goofy! I'm calling you Goofy from now on! But my, that's not my name! My, my name is George! So yeah. Fuck you! It's so like, fucking Goofy! You this goof. is like a thing that happens like when I'm falling asleep at night and yeah. he'll just like do this. <laughs> but I think like playing Kingdom Hearts has like elevated that too. Oh yeah. Like, just, like, yeah, we've been playing those that games on, are so on uh, press buttons and talk. Stupid. Yeah, those games suck. Um, I like, that first game sucks anyway. It's not the impressions themselves or the voices themselves, but mm. it's like the way you do them, right? Like the context. Right. I like your Effie voice. It's Effie. Yeah, it's Effie. Oh my goodness, it's Effie. Um, I don't remember who even started doing that one. Probably me. I yeah, think. probably. Yeah. Um. Um. But so yeah, so like that one, and I like your uh, like your your Candy King. Oh, Edwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candy King. That's what we always say, like, oh, Candy King. Oh, yes, I yeah. love it for my Edwin voice. Well, yeah. I basically will just do a voice, not because, like, I'm an amazing impersonator. It's just, like, I'm do riffing or something. Yeah, I do. I think I think your Goofy is very good, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, actually. Yeah, okay. As, as does everyone else. Yeah, cool. Uh, and cool, then this, cool. uh, the second part is, what's your favorite creative characteristic of your wife? Um, <clears throat> I think she's very good at art. Draw, drawing. Uh, you're welcome. Other than that, uh, she's pretty funny. I mean, that's not like necessarily like her creative passion, but 
I think she's very funny. Good at art, good at funny. Good at funny. Good at funny. I'm gonna put that on my resume, I think. Good at art, good at funny. Do you guys consider soup on its own to be a meal? Is, well, let's answer that first. Do you guys consider soup to be a meal? I do. Yeah, it's a meal. Depending on the soup. I mean, if it's a big enough bowl. Yeah, yeah anything sure. can be a meal if you eat enough of it. Uh, is cereal a meal? Yes. Yes, Absolutely. Cereal, of course. Cereal's the best meal. It's a great meal. Um, is cereal a soup? No. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, is it though? No. What's the definition of soup? Not cereal. Look it up. Look up what's, do you not know Just what like soup, soup is? I wanna, cause like maybe by definition. Soup is a liquid dish typically made by boiling meat, fish or vegetables, etc., in stock or water. It is not soup. What's the second definition? Um, a substance or mixture proceed to resemble soup in appearance or consistency. All right, I guess cereal's not soup. It's not, there's no argument there. It's I not, thought maybe it could be soup. You, you, so you look at a bowl of cereal like, mmm, I love some of that soup. <laughs> Give me some of that c it's cold nice cereal cold soup. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, cold crunchy mm, soup. Some soggy soup. What does your wife think about your waifu? I don't know who your waifu is. I have many waifus. You know, Nami from One Piece. You know, Lucina from But those are like Fire also Emblem. my waifus. Yeah, so... So, like, we, we I guess that I think that they're my waifus and mm. you need to back off. Oh, it's a competition now? Yes. No, it's our... We'll share them. They're our waifus. I like his waifus usually. Yeah. I don't think you have any that are I have, weird. I have good taste in waifus usually. All right, that was our Q and A. So thanks for sending those questions in, and we'll see you some other time. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.